Hi, I'm Mui Kaiser from Group 4. The theme of our group is Faraday's Law and Maxwell's Equation. In static electromagnetic fields, electric and magnetic fields are independent of each other, whereas in dynamic electromagnetic fields, the two fields are interdependent. In other words, a time-varying electric field necessarily involves a corresponding time-varying magnetic field. Or in other words, one can affect each other and today our main focus will be on time-varying field. Okay, first, let me introduce to you Faraday's law. Faraday's law is the perfect law that describes how change in magnetic field will cause an induce of electromotive force, just like shown in its equation below. Next will be the Maxwell equation. It is the third Maxwell equation which derives from Faraday's law of induction. In the following session, my team will demonstrate two experiments related to Faraday's law and Maxwell equation. That's all from me. Thanks. First, I would like to share the car alternator as one of the examples of Faraday's law and Maxwell equation. The car alternator consists of pulley, rotor, stator, and rectifier as the main component of the alternator. But how does an alternator work? First, we go to the car, then we turn on the switch. There is a power supply to the rotor, make the rotor become electromagnetic. Then, there is a mechanical energy transfer through the drive belt to the pulley, makes the pulley to rotate, then the rotor starts to rotate as well. The stator is made out of the copper coil with many layers. So, if the rotor starts to rotate, means that the electromagnetic starts to rotate, there is a cutting of magnetic flux occur, then there is a AC voltage to be produced. However, the car only receives the DC voltage supply. So, the car alternators consist of the rectifier to convert the AC to DC and the DC power will go to the battery then recharge the battery while we starting the car or be driving. So now I will um, explain about the findings from our experiment which is the simple electric drain. So from the experiment that we conducted, we used one battery, six pieces of magnets and a copper wire. The copper wire is shaped into a coil with a diameter of 1.5 cm. Then the battery is attached to the magnets with different poles at each side of the battery. We change it to both the north pole of magnets facing outside from the battery. So for this configuration, when the magnets touches the coil, uh, then the circuit will complete. And then the electric fields um, are forming around the coil. So when the electric field meets the north pole, and it will push the batteries from the left side of the coil to the right side of the coil. So when we change the configuration of the magnets, which is both south pole facing outside from the batteries, we can observe that battery will move from left to the right. This is because when we change the south pole, both facing outside from the battery, the electric field will push the south pole of the magnets from left to the right side of the coil. We change again the configuration um, into north pole facing outside on one side, and the other side, we change it to south pole facing outside, electric field will make the magnets push the battery inside so the battery will not moving and in constant uh, motion that's all for my part thank you my name is Sochi Hua I'm going to talk about the conclusion from these two experiments which are car alternator and simple electric thread for the car alternator it shows us the changing of magnetic field produces the electric field while the electric thread shows us the current for the magnet cutting the magnetic field and having the electromotive force it is a basic law of electromagnetism that predicts how a magnetic field will interact with an electric circuit to produce an electromotive force, EMF, and this phenomenon is called electromagnetic induction. The most important point of Faraday laws is a changing magnetic field produces or creates an electric field. It is the fundamental operating principle of transformers, inductors, electrical motors, generators, and solenoids. Lastly, one of the applications of Faraday laws is the transformer. It is useful to transmit AC electricity without much loss of power. Thank you.